All right, so I'm running Rudy E and B. I'm not sure if it's like really dark or whatever. It likely is. I'm not sure what's going on with the recorder. I've been having like issues with it. I might switch over and just use a different one. But um, I wanted to just load this up really quickly and discuss. I don't understand why all these mod lists. I keep seeing a lot of maxed out mod lists. I have about 2,000 mods in my game, by the way, probably more. But um, I've seen so many maxed out mod lists that they don't look great. They're, I'll turn the light off here. I'm not sure if it, it darkens it to a point where you can't see it anymore. I'll turn the light back on. But they, I've seen so many maxed out mod lists and they, the characters don't look real. They, they never look real. It's like people have no clue how to make human beings look real in Skyrim and literally you could scrounge or scalp go through the internet and look up as many YouTube videos as you can of modded Skyrim and look at the people the people always look horrible they always have these crazy fancy stylist type hairs uh, the skins never look real I've yet to see a realistic skin texture and I'll tell you guys a little secret there's actually a skin mod out there in, in the uh, Skyrim community that's literally photorealistic. And when I say literal, I mean it's photo scan people. Actual people skins from every race ripped or stripped from them and put onto the models in Skyrim. And people somehow overlooked it. It's the most underrated, beautiful thing I've ever seen. I'll zoom in. I'm using the textures. My dude right now is, uh, uh he has dirt on his face. So it's, you really can't to see if this turns off no this is a, a mod that i have in that um puts dirt on the characters or whatever so it's not something you can remove in a race being i actually have to uh, to give my character a shower to uh remove it but um yeah i have these photo realistic textures on my models and i'm just going to show you guys the difference between my stuff and literally everything you've seen on youtube it's like night and day in comparison in my opinion I also have a mod in here so that I can spin the character to so you can see them in full back to front and all of their, their HD glory. Um, you probably noticed too my races. My naming convention is very meticulous. It's very well categorized or organized. And also I took the luxury of giving real life race names to all of the races in, the, in this game just to um, further make it more realistic and immersive. But I digress here. I'm just going to jump over to a different sex. This is what my females look like. This is what she looks like up close. I'll turn off the light there. Hopefully this shows up. My um, I'm using Rudy NB. But it's really dark on my recorder. But hopefully you can see that. And this, these are like. You can't get more realistic than these textures man. It's got everything from moles. To, to pockmarks. To blemishes. Every wrinkle you could imagine on the face, even my eyebrows are um, they're hyper realistic eyebrows. The the hair textures that I use, I don't use any of these weird hair mods. I'm sorry, all of the hair mods I've seen are terrible. They don't look like real hair. Um, to be honest, the vanilla or the base game hair textures are actually fine. They just they're just upscaled in my game. They're um, more more of a salt and wind type version of it, but it's they they suffice, man. If you're going for realism all right I'm gonna zoom out I'll keep this light on I, I have no clue what this looks like my Argonians were replaced I use Dracus Argonians for my Argonians though jump over here this is what it looks like I use Dracus because it's just it's just better it just looks like a lizard dude up close far away um there's a mod in here too let me jump over here notice he got he has a beard but there is a mod in here to remove the horns. If you look at the, the jaw of this race, the horns are gone. That's because I modded them out. I had to do some finagling, actually, oddly enough, with the texturing. But I managed to get the horns off of the um, the Argonians, which looks really good. It's um to me it's better. It helps out for when customizing because the point of the point of making a character in Skyrim, to be honest, is to make anything you want. So when you mod the game, that should be your, your aim there, to make anything you want. So I took the spikes or the uh, the horns off the jaws for both the sexes with our goat. I'm gonna jump down. I'm just gonna show off some of my humanoid races. I'm gonna try my best to stick to the vanilla humanoids. But there you go. That's what my dark elf looks like. Turn the light off there. Turn the light on. He's very strafed, super muscular looking. 
but he's not tall. He's very, he's actually short because he's an elven, elven race. Not the Tolkien type elven, but he's a, he's a different type of elf. And uh, let's jump over. That's what the females look like in my game. As you can see, they dress skimpy. They're very sexy. And that's because they're elves. Elves aren't people. There's no real life. There's no race of elf that exists in real life. So with the elves, you can just lose your mind. Just do, do whatever you feel like doing. But the focus here, look at the face. The face still looks ridiculously realistic. Even if her freaking skin is blue. Move on. There's my high elves. Peep the hair too. The hairs are S P hairs. They're actually vanilla. They're vanilla hair replacers, but they're S P variations, which is to me they're way more superior. They just, for instance, this high elf here, the vanilla game um, hairstyle, this bun hairstyle looks awful in the vanilla game. It makes them have like a Vegeta wid widow's peak. It looks pretty terrible. But as you can see there, they're they're sexied up, and I also have different body. Um, body meshes, textures, skeletons, um, even the physics are varied to an extent. They all have their own separate unique armor per race. So if I wanted to, I could actually completely replace my high elf with anything I could find. Anything in Skyrim SE that I could find that I wanted to put on her, other than vanilla, I could just throw it on her and she'd have her own armor set. I just haven't gotten around to it. To be honest, nothing really comes to mind. And also with elves, I low-key, I do want my elves to be like super ridiculously seductive and attractive just because elves aren't they're not people there's my wood elves you can immediately tell from the proportions on this wood elf here that she's really tiny god i hope this shows up clearly man i don't know what's up with this recorder i'm actually using my windows recorder too my uh my pc recorder my game recorder and it's i'm not sure why it's so crappy when it comes to uh viewing this but as you can see there for my female actually let's go back so there's my high elf i'm gonna jump over for the high elf uh sex that's what my male high elf looks like my apologies i forgot to go to him. i saw the dirt add to him too from the mod but look at that that looks super realistic and it even pays homage if you're familiar with uh the default game textures it pays homage to sundra kind which is very close to what you're looking at here for this high elf but look how realistic he looks look at his freaking face dude look at the wrinkles look at all these details man you can't get any closer to this and i'll tell you guys a couple of fun facts in a second here about um, some of the choices that i choose when i like playing my game here just for those of you who i know are in the dark about it so here's the wood elf again but this is the male side of the race as you can see if you pay very close attention their their body structures are Different. They have different um, skeletons, which affects the proportions of their heads, arms, shoulders, etc. They have different textures, which is including the normal maps and the base map um, or the base color maps. Um, it just makes them less straight or less um, vascular, or gives them different skin tones and, and etc. As you can see here, he looks wildly different from everyone else. He's actually less vascular. He, you can't see a six pack on him. Still, again, focus. Look at his face hyper realistic man and this is photo this is based off of um photo realistic textures i wonder if i can open this in nif scope see the top of his ear i can open that in nif scope and actually um push that part of the ear over and fix that be a quick fix but look at that you can't get more real than this people because these are actual <laughs> morbid as it sounds this is the skin ripped from real people and put on these models man Chinese, Chinese is my brain. I'm sorry, I needed Asians in my game. I love Asians. I love anime. I love uh, everything Chinese, pretty much. I like, I just like a lot of Asian stuff. So, and I was pretty butt hurt. I was like, "Where's the Asian people?" I know in Skyrim they call them the Akaviri, and uh, the Akaviri are like this ancient mythical race of blah blah blah. And you never see them. And it's like, dude, screw you. But again, photorealistic, super photorealistic. You can tell their proportions are different too. Usually you can tell if a, a race in my game is shorter by the size of their head. Usually a shorter person has a bigger head, as in real life. Short people don't have tiny heads. But there's my female there. My female Chinese or Breton. And low key, the preset, the second preset, dang, it completely changes it. Looks like a different race, don't it? 
pretty nuts. These presets are so good. My body scaling is different too. For my female Britons specifically, because I like to poke fun in anime, I let them start with like a traditional Asian body, which is like not much. Sorry, Asian women aren't super endowed. And then I go to like Hitomi Tanaka <laughs> for like the max proportions here. Pretty crazy. And oddly enough, out of all of the races, this is the only race that gets like these giant massive boobs. Only because I know in real life there's there's Asian women who were built like this. I'm scared me enough. Okay, moving on. Let's do the Norse. I think the Norse are my Nords. Yeah, we already did that. I showed you the female and the male for the Norse. Let's do Ragada or Ragada, which is like uh, these are my red guards. That's the real life counterpart name for red guards. Look at this, dude. That looks like a black girl. That looks like a real black girl, dude. So pretty. The blue eyes, the blonde hair, everything makes it. By the way, S P hair too. Crazy. Look at her lips. She's gorgeous, dude. Freaking nuts. Like I said, we were giving textures for every race. We were giving them, and no one uses them. By the way, all of my male and female characters, my males have um. Well, it's it's a high poly variation of the model, but my male characters have SOS, which is they have genitals. And they also have uh, physics applied to their full body, so the chest, butt, thighs, chest, butt, thighs, um, abdomen. They males have full physics in their hair. They 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 move. And then the same with my females. My female have the same full physics suite. They have a uh, butt, breast, belly, thighs, and hair movement. And it's pretty it's pretty nuts. Jump up to the dudes again. Look at it. Look at it. look at his arms. Look at the vascularity on his arms. See his stomach? He has a six pack. He's very athletic looking. Very dude. And I'm so meticulous, man. I'm so meticulous. Look at the face. It's freaking nuts, man. And don't get it twisted. I know you see the seam by the neck. This has nothing to do with the textures. This is actually the lighting. The lighting's pretty extreme. And at this angle, it darkens um the rim around the neck. It's the colors match flawlessly. I've, I've already tested and played with um each of my characters in game it, it's flawless man there is no scene outside of um extreme light hitting the character like crazy but yeah those are my rocket on my red guards just i it's you you can't explain how realistic this looks dude. like this this is too much man go down I'm pretty sure we're at the end because we're ragada or ragada roman roman's my imperial let's do romans Fun fact, the, the real Romans, they're they're not pasty. The real woman Romans aren't white people. They're not Aryan. The real Romans actually look um Middle Eastern. They look like people from they look like all of people. So they're more Egyptian looking. But here's the uh this is what our Romans Romans look like. Beautiful man. Like the most realistic text textures imaginable, dude. I'm just in shock, man. I don't understand. I've seen so many ultramatic games of Skyrim and all of the people look like they don't look great man it's jarring you see like these people focus on the environments adding bells and whistles to everything around the people and then they ignore the important part which is the people if the people in your game look realistic it doesn't matter what's around the person man it seriously doesn't. Oh, my uh, my Romans are straight. For you you probably can see it from his stomach. That crazy six pack he's got, and of course the uh, the vascularity. He's very um, he's, he's got a lot of veins. And um, I said something about the mesh, the body types. So for my body types, I'll cover that in a second here. I'll when I get to when, even though I've already passed one beast of race. Actually, I made it now. So here's my Kajit. Let's pick an eye that has uh, reflectivity or proper reflectivity here. Don't worry, it, it shows up fine in the game. It's just this um this glaring light makes it hard to see his eyes. I'll go with this one. It don't matter. Any, any of them work. But yeah, so here's my Khajiit here. As you can see, my Khajiit, they use um, complex parallax texture texturing for their um their skin. I get close. Again, I hope this recorder is picking this up, man. But it uses complex texture or complex parallax texture for the skin to give like real, literal, real fur on the 
other model. I chose this over shell texturing because I, I just don't like the way shell texturing looks on the Khajiit. I like it smooth. And also it's more consistent with the other female, not female, but the other beast race, races that I have. As you can see there, the tail is actually shell textured though. I don't mind the tail being shell textured. And also it's an HDT or a, uh, not HDT, an SMP or physics enabled tail, which means it's not um, controlled by the character during movements. It just kind of flops freely like it's um like a relaxed muscle all right i'm gonna jump over let's do the other six okay let's give her eyes that i can see in this um this crazy spotlight anything works whatever that works okay so there's my khajiit there and as you can see i didn't go nuts with the the proportions of the khajiit i'm very i keep myself lore friendly but i also keep it lore accurate and these all of my races are really the equivalent of um they're very close or consistent with Oblivion. I try to keep everything close to the uh, the previous game because it's the most loved, beloved game, and also it's it's really it's the image with that's on it. But yeah, this is my Kaji, and uh, same thing with my female Kajis too. They have the complex parallax skin, um, basically the the you know the 3D fur texture on their skin, and also uh, the tail. They have the shell texture, uh, S and P or the physics tail. Speaking of SP, I'll go into depth about that in a second. This was a beast race that I just showed, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to cover another beast race pretty soon, and I'll show off the um the model difference that I chose to uh, integrate. Wow, and I'm actually on it now. Last one. So here's my last race, um, which is the orc. I consider the orc more like beast race because they're um they, orcs don't exist in real life. There's no race based on the orcs. Um, freaking, so here's the female side for my orcs. My orcs, my female orcs are big. They're very burly. They're huge, man. They're muscular. You put one next to a Nord dude, and she can take them. But, um, the thing I want you to focus on is, the again, the face, man. Look how real that face looks, dude. Light off. I'm not sure if that, you can see that. But, yeah, realistic textures, man. You can see, if you look at her, oops, if you look closely at her forehead there, Dude, you can see the freaking blemishes and the pock marks on her forehead. Look at the detail around her eyes. Her lips. Her lips are crazy detailed. I just don't get it. And here's the male side. Every build. Why? Why? People max out their games and it looks terrible because their people look fake. There's my orc. My orcs are very vascular. They're super muscular. If you look at the build of the orc's body, they're huge, man. They're bodybuilders. Why the shoulders in the game? Just thanks to me um, putting custom skeletons on each of my races. Just look at them. Looks like Schwarzenegger, man. Crazy. This looks crazy. Now look at the face. Look at the face. So much detail. And it looks, dude, in game, this looks scary good. It looks scary good. It looks so real. And um, the thing I wanted to point out that I keep digressing from is the structure of the body as you can see they can go really thin just like um just like the base um body mesh or the base character armor and body meshes but they also can get super huge like i'm talking about ridiculous jacked and the only races in here that can get this jacked or this you know this unbelievably proportioned is really my beast race so my uh Khajiit and argonians and that that's all of them every khajiit version of khajiit Nargonians, they can get pretty jacked for their max weight and of course the orcs because orcs aren't real people so they can be unbelievable like this i thought about doing it with elves but uh elves aren't known for being meatheads so that was a no-brainer to just you know leave them alone so that was just me going through my base races man i covered all Hopefully I didn't skip one, but I, that should be all of my base races that I just covered here. And I just wanted to show off the difference, man. Just show off how incredible my textures look. And I'm just showing you guys that in the community, there are textures that we can use to make our people look hyper-realistic. Or like real, physically living people. I'm tired, man. I don't know about you guys. And again, mark my words. I want you to do this. Go on YouTube and just look up other random uh, super modded Skyrims. Find as many Skyrim builds as you can or maxed out mods. And look at how terrible their people looks. I've never seen a good uh, people. I've never seen good NPCs in a, a modded Skyrim game that's been posted on YouTube. 
and it's blowing my mind because we've been given i sound like a broken record now you guys get the point god bless